Hey everyone, this is CLR Gaming. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to have you guys. And welcome to another episode of The Small Lands. Ugh. I was just here admiring the sunrise with our friend Sky. We are back at the house because we had an assignment to do for Granger. If you remember, can I land this? Ah, the door's closed. That would have been perfect. I need to go downstairs anyway. If you remember, in the last episode, towards the end, we met and talked with a fellow by the name of Granger, and he had an awesome looking weapon and I need that weapon. We need that weapon in our lives. But before we do that, guys, I was messing around. I don't know what I did differently at all. I did everything the exact same way, but look what I did. <laughs> look, I, uh, <clears throat> I put it in a chest. <laughs> oh, I'm a silly girl. There it is. Just kidding. Building up uh, suspense. Look, I made another great axe just to try it out again. And look, it's orange. So it's a superior rank, which is the second rank. The first one is standard, then superior. And I keep forgetting, what are the other ones? Let me check real quick, hold on. Right, so there's standard, superior, which is what we got, exceptional, rare, and legendary. So it's second place, there's five total. So not the greatest, not the greatest. But it's something, so I wanted to try and make another one with you guys, just to see what we get. Our intelligence is 53, so let's try that out again, and then, come on, no whammies. Oh, wow. So this one, I'm guessing, is just regular standard. There is no, so that, that sucked, so that really sucked. But we can go to dismantle and get some of our items back. Let's make sure we dismantle the right one. There we go. I also wanted to build with you guys the pyrite pickaxe. We have the iron wood now. So we have everything we need to make it. And now we can get rid of our iron pickaxe. But you guys know I don't get rid of anything. So let me put this upstairs. What is it? This one? There we go. And then we will bring the new pickaxe. Oops down. Let's see what it looks like, huh? Oh wow, look at that thing. Oh yeah! Yes! Alright! Look at us upgrading like a boss. Now, we also found sulfur and saltpeter in the new biome, and if you take it to your apothecary table, you'll see now there's these new refined sulfur and refined saltpeter. It takes five sulfur to make one, and it's a one for one with the saltpeter. The saltpeter can be found in that little cave. I can show it to you guys, but we need these materials and some charcoal to take back to Granger. I don't know what he's gonna do. Is he gonna give us the weapon? Or teach us how to make it? I don't know! We gotta go! So let's go! I will meet you guys over there. Oh man! Listen, I lied about going. I... 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 I'm addicted. It's gambling. I want to see what I roll. And I did another pickaxe. I wish it would have landed on my, my battle axe. But I redid the pyrite pickaxe and I got an exceptional one. Now we can compare, huh? So my regular pyrite, harvest damage is 100, exceptional 110. This does edge damage as well. That's interesting. Very little, 8 to 13, 8 to 14. And then the durability is a lot better with the exceptional one compared to our standard one. Hey, that's pretty neat. I love it. I love that concept so much. And that's going to get me in trouble because I'm going to be trying to re-roll things over and over and over. All right, for real now, let's go to Granger's. All right, here we are. I decided to take Sky because I'm pretty confident these turrets here, but we will have to pay attention. I wanted to show you, here's that Oasis Island, and right on the edge, right here where we were fighting those two guys is where you can find the Saltpeter. There's a cave down there full of it, but I want to go see Granger. There he is. We have to be careful because the turrets are not cleared out everywhere. Let's go in for a landing. Oh, like a boss. Uh, hello. Yes, you're gonna scare the crap out of him. Don't eat the ladybugs. I'm trying to get in his good graces. Hello, Senor Granger. I am back. Good to see you. Good to see you. I brought you those things we needed for the fire sand. 
<laughs> Alrighty then, let's get started. First we grind everything together and then we add just a tiny bit of water to stabilize the mixture. Make sure to keep it away from sparks and open flames. Huh, yeah, don't worry about me, I am safe. Safety is my middle name. <clears throat> I will, is that all? How exactly do I use it? That's all. Most important is the quality of the ingredients and the ratio of the mix. Get those wrong and it'll just fizzle out. To use the fire salt, try putting it in a small container and add in a fuse. Here, let me show you. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, that should come in handy. Yep. Do you think you could show me how to make a hand cannon as well? Ah, you want your own Bessie, do you? Well, I can't just teach anyone who asks. She's a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. Tell you what, you do me a little favor and I'll consider showing you how she's made. Huh, really thought I was gonna learn how to make the cannon now. Fine, everybody needs a favor, god dang it. That sounds fair. What would you have me do? Well, scorpion attacks have been getting more frequent as of late. They come on to the ranch at night and attack the herd. Oh my god, that's horrible. I've chased them away a few times, even killed one or two, but they always return after a while. I'm looking for a more permanent solution. Uh-huh. How can I help? Pay a visit to those scorpion fanatics over at the temple to the west. It's said they have some sort of food they give scorpions that renders them malleable for a while. See if you can get me some of that. Wait a minute, a temple? Fanatics? I'll give it a try? Yep. Well, dang it. Let's go make that fire sand and with Sky we can get over there in no time. We gotta protect these ladybugs from those scorpions. I will meet you guys back at the house. Here we are, oh good. Those landings can be rough, man. Okay, so here we go back to the apothecary table. What did we learn? Fire sand. You need charcoal, refined saltpeter, and sulfur, everything that we've made. A volatile mixture that is highly flammable. Great. And now we have a new recipe for fire sand bomb. It'll give us 10 pyrite scorpion chitin this is expensive i feel like i'm gonna blow myself up before i blow anything else up you guys know how i am with explosives but it should be fun trying it. all right we'll make one and this inventory is a hot mess guys the the armor didn't used to take up slots in your inventory there was like a separate place for it on the side here like here and that's where it would go but it doesn't work like that anymore and i hate it i wish they would change that i'm gonna Get rid of the stink bombs and we'll replace them with the f fire sand bombs. Okay, let me grab my hoots as well because I want to go check on the merchant. There's a merchant on the map out here and I think the temple he was talking about was to the, he said to the west over here in this area. But let's keep going towards the merchant and then uh, if we have time we'll head over to the temple. So I will meet you guys over there. Look how cool this looks. Let us head on down. Do not want Sky to get killed. I think they were all ready. There's a scorpion. Okay. Have you been killing those poor innocent ladybugs? Shame on you, sir. Check out my new superior. Oh. On a minute. Good. There we go. Nice block. Oh. Oh, God. It got me. It got me. You blocked him. Okay. Okay. Fall back. Nope. There we go. No stamina. No stamina. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Woo! Little low on health. Oh, there's a turd right there. Where's that merchant? Out in that direction. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put my flippin' helmet on. Okay. You okay, honey? Okay, you stay there. Mama's gonna <laughs> handle business. Okay. 
can I get up there? Hello, it is I, CLR Gaming. Hello? Oh no. Oh, there you are. Playing possum, are you? You two are annoying. Get blocked. Man, my stamina. I did level up and put some points in there, but obviously I need some more. Okay, here we go. Red versus blue, sir. There we go. Nice block. I can roll just as well, sir. Oh, nice roll at the end. There we go, and we leveled up. Let's grab these hoots. Awesome. That was a pretty good battle, if I do say so myself. And I do. How the hell do I get up there? It's like I need to fly up there to get that one. It says the merchant should be out this way. Look at that view. Huh. I wonder if we can go over there if that's for later expansion. Because the bridge is not even showing up here. That would be insane. So I'm thinking this is the new updated area. But we'll find out. We'll try. Oh man, that looks awesome. But I believe we have found the merchant in his little boat. Now is this a completely different one? Who sells different items? Aren't their boats awesome? Hello, sir. Hello there. Who are you? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. So it, it's the exact same merchant you can find down here by the historian area. But he's just in this location, I guess, if you're closer to this side of the map. I thought it was going to be something oop, different. That's all right. That I was wondering why it was showing up on our map when we hadn't been here. So let's climb up this hill and see if this bridge is something that we can cross. Or if it's for a later expansion. I'll meet you guys by the bridge. Oh my! Never mind. Oh no. Hello sir. Or ma'am. Probably ma'am. Get blocked. Nope. Bad block. God, these are no joke. Nope. Bad timing. She's almost down. There we go. <laughs> that death animation, though. Oh, look at this little cave here by the merchant. There's some pyrite and some sulfur if you guys need some. Still two hits, but I need to increase my strength and I think it'll be a one hit with the new uh, pickaxe. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. Here we are trying to make my way up to the bridge, but it is definitely blocked off with the border. <laughs> oh, man. That is exciting, isn't it? I keep looking forward to more, what the hell are you, and more of the updates. But we're still exploring this one, so we're going to have to go west, young man. But what are you? Hello? Tarantula Hawk, pierce damage. Resistant to pierce damage. Wow, Tarantula Hawk. Aren't those bad? <laughs> There's some bad Mamba Jambas in real life, aren't they? Don't they lay eggs? In tarantulas, they like paralyze them. Are you gonna? Oh, you, you're coming for me, sir. I'm trying to teach people about how evil you are. They'll paralyze a tarantula, tarantula, 
and lay an egg in there. And then the tarantula can't eat or move or do anything, and it's basically just a host for the egg. And then when the egg hatches, it eats the tarantula from the inside out. I am sucking against this guy. Holy smokes. Nope, still couldn't time that. What do you drop? Poison? He didn't drop anything special. Insect sting, a poison gland. Okay. He did do a number on me, though. Before I head west, let's check out this way, see if there's anything by these cliffs. Man, that poison is still going. Oh, hell no! Did you see that? <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's heal up completely. Did you see that? Nope! I'm falling off the- A viper! I don't want to deal with a viper. But you guys want me to deal with the viper? Holy hell. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I hate, I hate everything about that. <laughs> if ever there was a time to use a sand bomb, fire, whatever the hell this is. Oh, yeah. The screams are real. No, 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 no. Oh no, we're gonna die. This is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is this is stupid. This was stupid. Nope, 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 nope. I choose life. Ooh. Oh god. Your mammy! <laughs> I don't think we're ready for that. I don't think we're ready for that. Woo! That was a lot of battle cries. <laughs> oh god. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We live to fight another day, people. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Ooh. I'm gonna head back home. I need to change my pants. And, guys, I gotta get ready for Owl's Giving. It's tomorrow! And I forgot about it completely. I'm a little bummed because usually I spend Owl's Giving with my family. And, uh, me being on this adventure for the king, I'm far away from my family and a little lonely. I wonder if it's gonna be my first Owl's Giving alone. But I'm gonna make our casserole. My famous small folk castle. This is not my house. You'd think I would know where my house is. So let me go home and uh, change my pants and maybe do some cooking for Al's giving. Ow, God! Ow, 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 ow! That burns. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And fresh casserole. Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back. I've been slaving away in the kitchen. I have made probably the best casserole ever. I mean, look at it. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I made two of them. I, I don't know why. It's just me and you know, I set the table for us. Me. <clears throat> All by myself. For Al's giving. I mean, I could... Maybe set the table out by the geckos? I miss my family. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Let me grab this. Maybe, uh... Let's see what your gnome's doing for Owl's Giving. You know, maybe... I can give him one of the casseroles. And uh, if he's doing anything, maybe we can join him? Yeah. That sounds good. Can't be here by myself. Hey, your gnome! 
Oh, you know, I'm, I've been cooking my life away, getting ready for Al's giving. Yeah, I, I was giving. You ready for it? It's tomorrow. What's Al's giving? Oh, what? For gnome, you, you don't celebrate Al's giving? Is it a not a gnome thing, huh? I guess not. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, it's um, it's it's one of my favorite holidays, to be honest with you, for gnome. Oh yeah, what's it about? Well, it's um, ugh. you know, the origins of Al's giving aren't the greatest, but you know what it means to me is uh, just spending time with family, you know? And friends, and sharing each other's company, eating good food. Oh yeah? That sounds good. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if I've told you this, but uh, Al's giving is really special to me nowadays. Oh yeah, why? Well, a few years back, I got really sick. Oh no! Yeah, I got really sick and was in the hospital, and I almost died, your gnome. What? Yeah, it was bad. And it was around Al's giving time, and it was really rough, and... I didn't think I was gonna make it. I was in a coma and intubated. <gasps> yeah, you know, it's not something you talk about all the time, but one thing that kept me going was my nephew. That's the one. All I could think about was spending things, I mean, Al's giving with him and sharing one more Al's giving. Oh, that's, that's really sweet. And you know how it goes. I, I survived. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. <laughs> Gnome. And uh, I got to spend that Owl's Giving with him, and he sat right next to me, and we had the best Owl's Giving ever. So it has a special place in my heart. It means a lot, you know? Yes, I see. Yeah, and, and this is. I'm on this quest for the king, and I'm by myself, and not with my family or friends, and I was just wondering what you were gonna do for Owl's Giving, but I understand, you know. Or. I guess I don't understand. There's a lot about gnomes I need to learn. I'm sorry for bothering you about that. You know what? I made an extra uh, small folk casserole, and I was just gonna give it to you. Whether it's Al's giving or not, a, a good meal's a good meal, am I right? Sure. Can I tell you something? Your gnome, I just spilled my guts to you. Of course you could tell me something. Well, now I feel like a real jerk, Oh, yeah? Why? I was just teasing you. Teasing me? About what? Al's giving. You mean gnome celebrate? Oh. Oh, Jernome, you! I'm over here spilling my guts like a. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. After my shift, I was gonna come over and ask you if you wanted to hang out with us. I know you're away from your family this year, and I mean, you're basically part of ours by now. You wanna come over? Oh, do you mean it, Jernome? Oh, of course I wanna come over. I mean, my mother-in-law's gonna be there. Wait, what? She's out of jail? They let her out early. For good behavior. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, God. No, no, she was just a handful, so they let her out on house arrest. Well, you know what? All Every family has one of those, you know. Uh, even with your mother-in-law, it would be an honor to join you guys for Al's giving. Oh, I'm so excited. But I'm going to bring this casserole tomorrow. What time do you guys celebrate? Uh, you want to head over the house by three? Three in the afternoon? Yes, sir. I will... I will be there. Oh, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. You crazy gnome, you tricked me. You really gotta learn about us gnomes. I do, I do. I'm gonna learn tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, Jernome. Bye, see you later. Love ya. Love you too, Jernome. Love you too. That guy. That guy. Oh, man, we talked all night. So, I'm gonna call it a night. We will go deal with those scorpion people in the next one. But for now, I'm going to get some rest and I'm going to enjoy my Owl's Giving. And to kind of break the fourth wall a little bit, the story I shared with Jernome about being sick and almost dying is true. If you look at my 60 sub special, I talk about it a little bit more. So Thanksgiving does have a special place in my heart and I will be taking the rest of the week off and enjoying it with my family. I know this time of year, Thanksgiving, Christmas can be very difficult for people, especially if you are alone or if you're missing those loved ones that you wish you could spend time with but please know from the bottom of my heart i wish you all the very best you're never alone you know we're building a community here and i'd hope that you guys look out for one another if you are in a dark place in a lonely place there is plenty of help out there and i'd urge you to get it i always i when i do videos like this i'll leave a a helpline number for you guys in my description below because I do care about you. And if you're feeling unwanted, lonely, or not needed, I'd highly, highly encourage you to serve, to go out there 
and volunteer. Just do one, one afternoon. If you're really feeling like nobody in this world cares about me, go out there and serve. You will see the amount of people who care about you and need you and would really appreciate you being there for them. So that's it. And I know that it is not Thanksgiving for everyone. So if you're in another place that doesn't celebrate it, thank you for humoring me. And I hope you guys have the great rest of your week. And it's always a good whether it's holidays or not. If you haven't talked with your family in a while or friends that you care about, drop them a text, give them a call, tell them hi, tell them you love them because you never know guys. Life is short, it is precious. Take advantage of the time that you have and the moments that you have and the chances you have to make memories. But that's gonna do it for this one guys. I appreciate y'all watching. You have a good one, stay safe, and until the next time, bye. Oh man! Owls giving at Dronome. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I can't even sleep. I'm so excited. I gotta move Sky. She's gonna break my whole damn house. Sky! Cut it out!